Hello, my friends, and welcome to the K6UDA radio show. I'm Bob K6UDA, your host for the next few minutes while we talk about something important radio space. Today, uh, we're talking about the venerable shack in the box. Ah, yes, those all-in-one ham radio transceivers, commonly known in the business as an all-band, all-mode radio. Is this the right radio for you for your first one? Or would you be better served getting a straight HF radio and maybe a mobile or a better uh, handheld transceiver? We'll talk about it today. Let's do this. Been a minute since we've been together again. Uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff over on the Rumble side, doing a lot of gun stuff, a lot of uh, preparedness stuff. It has to do with ham radios. And if you would like to uh, get in on that, you want to go over to rumble.com slash K6UDA and we'll put you in touch with a couple of channels over there. I'm really hoping that you will uh, run over there, check out all this content plus uh, the 2A content that I do over there and uh, the Idaho Preparedness Channel. Please give those guys a sub. Uh, you'll get a whole lot more over there because I could talk about anything I want over there with no fear of getting demonetized or getting shadow banned or banned or whatever. Anyway, uh, today, we're talking again about ham radio transceivers, commonly known as all band, all mode radios. Certainly not a new concept uh, in ham radio. There's been a lot of band, all mode radios. Uh, the Yesu 857, great example of a mobile radio uh, that does uh, HF, UHF, VF. And it operates in pretty much all the standard modes. Uh, the ICOM 9100, it's a big desk, uh, desk set radio. Uh, again, HF, UHF, VHF, uh, super high frequency for the satellite guys. Uh, and it does D-Star both uh, locally on low repeaters and over uh, HF which is a whole nother concept. But lately, there's been some new contenders in the lower priced range, in the, the entry level range, let's say. Uh, Yesu's uh, 991 Alpha and uh, ICOM, the 705. So we're going to use those as kind of the new options into that all mode, all band arena. One of the big advantages in one of these uh, shack in the boxes is a fantastic radio. It kind of goes everywhere and does everything. One of the big advantages of a shack in the box is that all mode, all band. Uh, you could see here on my 705, look at this. I get the air bands, I get HF, I get uh, two meter, 440, 6 meter, it's all there. Also consider the buy once, cry once theory that I have. Look, you can buy several radios or you could buy one radio like a 705, like a 991A and get a little bit of everything. Buy once, cry once. For those of you that might be more concerned about space or aesthetics in your house and you don't want to have a room full of radio gear, doing an all-in-one or the shack in the box is a great alternative because you get everything in a nice tidy little box. Also, you get some special features with the shack in the box. Uh, say the ability to run single sideband on two meters and 440. It's another band, and it also enables you to use your, say, tech license to talk 
a uh, hundred or more miles away using two meters or 440. These two modern shack in the boxes also give you the ability to run, well, in the case of the ICOM, D Star, in the case of the uh, Yesu Fusion. And on both of them, the ability to run those modes on HF. No wires, no internet. One of the big advantages of a radio like that is the fact that it has a little bit of everything in it. But it doesn't have everything in it. In the case of that 705, you get a whopping 5 watts of output. That means to make it a 100 watt radio, you gotta add an amp. On the 991, you're giving up display options, sound quality, and filtering over radios like the uh, 710 and the DX10. Probably the single biggest drawback to the shack in the box is the fact that it is one receiver. And that's the biggest reason I run multiple radios inside of both Studio A and Studio B. Running this configuration, I get to do three things at the same time. I can run FT8 or JS8 call on my HF radio. I can uh, monitor the K6 UDA repeater on the FTM 400 on the band A, and I can monitor uh, another repeater or say something like law enforcement on band B on the FTM 400. But now I can hear the sad hams almost screaming at me. But Bob, I could get my ID 52 and I could do D star over this. But dude, you can't do D star over HF on this, no matter how hard you try. Can I pair up my HF transceiver with uh, an HT? Yes, you can. And then you're how you have two radios. You're monitoring both uh, UHF, VHF, HF on here. Ever heard the term jack of all trades, master of none? I used to have a Kawasaki KLX 250. Uh, it was a fun bike, but it did a little bit of everything. Did some off-road, did some on-road, and it did nothing well. And in a way, that's where I place the modern shack in the box. It does everything, but in every aspect, it leaves something to be desired, not the perfect radio. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. If you agree with me, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what radios you think would be the best for you. What do you think would be the best? Am I missing them? Again, uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button over here. Go over to rumble.com, type in K6UDA, and uh, subscribe to me over there. There's a whole lot more fun over there. You'll be able to see this video on both of them. But my main one is now Rumble. Anyway, my friends, uh, good to see you. We'll catch you again the next one. I'm Bob K6UDA, and I'm out here. 7-3.